All right, so what we're going to do here is look at how to synchronize PowerPoint animations with your narration in Presenter. So what we need to do is first we need to have shapes and or objects in PowerPoint that are set to animate. That could be shape, could be text, pictures, really doesn't matter. Uh, in this case, we have three shapes. So we've got these three boxes. And if we go to the Animations tab and we go to the Animations pane, oops, which is open right here, uh, you can see that each box has an animation assigned to it. So it's a fly-in animation. Now the key when you're synchronizing your animations is to make sure that they're set to on click. So um, if you want to synchronize your animation to a specific point in your narration, then you need to make sure they're on click. And that means that when you click, that's going to trigger the animation. If you don't have them set to on click, it won't work. So animated shapes or objects, make sure they're set to on click. So we're all set there. The other thing I'll point out is we've got our transcript down here. So a lot of people use the notes panel uh, for the transcript. One of the things I do, this is a bonus tip, is I like to put these little carrot tops in front of the sentences where I want the animation to go. And the reason I do that is one is I can quickly see I've got three animations on there. So sometimes we lose track of the animations. So I can quickly count the animations. The other thing is when I'm listening to the narration and I'm following the script, I'll know at what point to trigger the animation. And that really comes in handy if you've pre-recorded your animation. And I'll show you how we get rid of those after we're done. So we've got everything ready to go. We're going to go to the Articulate tab. Let me just save this since I added those little carrot tops. Um, we're going to go to Synchronize Animations. Now if I wasn't record, if I wasn't doing the screencast, I would just do Record. But since we're doing the screencast, I'm going to do Synchronize. And so I already have some audio on here. You can see here's my transcript. And then what I want to do is I can listen to my audio track. Here are three boxes. The first box is blue. The second box is red. So you can see that I already was playing around with that. So I heard my audio. So what I want to do is I want to do start sync. And when I do start sync, you'll notice that it's going to tell me how many animations are left. And then I can just read along with my script. And when I get to the little carrot top, I'll know that's where I want the animation to be. So I'm going to do that. So let me turn the audio up so you can actually hear it a little bit. Here are three boxes. The first box is blue. The second box is red. And the third box is orange. And if you're happy with that, go ahead and play it back. Here are three boxes. The first box is blue. The second box is red. If you don't like it, you can just redo it. And again, if you wanted to record narration, you can just go from here and record narration. So when you're all done, just go ahead and hit Save and Close. And now you're going to be in PowerPoint. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And so I've got it saved. And what I can do is I can preview this slide. And so I can see if everything's synchronized the way it's supposed to be. Here are three boxes. The first box is blue, the second box is red, and the third box is orange. So that all looks fine, exactly the way I want it to be. So that means I'm done. Now the last thing I'll do is notice I have these little carrot tops. Easy way to get rid of those because if you, I would imagine you have 20 or 30 slides. Just do Control F and what you'll want to do is find and replace. So we'll find what? We'll find these little carrot tops. And we're going to replace that with nothing. So just put replace all and you'll notice that they're now all gone. So hopefully that helps you out. But um, basically it's just have shapes on the screen and or objects on the screen. Set up some animations. Make sure they're on click. And then you can synchronize the animations. And at any point you can go back in there and change those. Another thing you can do is if you want to fine tune when the animations come in, so you can go to the audio editor and you'll notice uh, here is the breakdown of the slides and then you can see here uh, are those shapes. So rectangle three, four, and five. So those are the shapes. So let's say I wanted to fine tune this. I could actually nudge those anywhere on the timeline so I can get it perfectly lined up. And that's a lot faster than re-recording those. Uh, hopefully that helps.